Welcome to Electra Online. In this set of videos, we're going to take a look at galaxies in general. We want to find out what type of galaxies exist in the universe, how many of each, what are the difference between the types and so forth, how are they cataloged. But first, let's take a look at how many galaxies there are in the entire universe, how they're distributed, and hmm, how much space is potentially between galaxies, or how much space do these galaxies take up. Well, first of all, we had not a very good idea as to how many galaxies there were because everywhere we looked, the farther we looked, the more we looked, the more galaxies we began to see and we really didn't have the telescopes required to take good enough pictures to really figure it out. We knew at some point that there was probably somewhere around 50 billion galaxies in the universe but that was just a guess, we really didn't know. And then we had the Hubble Space Telescope when it was put into space in the early 1990s we began to use it to try to figure out many of the mysteries of the universe, including how many galaxies there may be. And one of the pictures that we took with our telescope was the Hubble Deep Field picture, and there it is, a single picture containing well over a thousand galaxies. Now, how big of a space, how big of a portion of space did that contain? And it turns out from our vantage point, it was just a small little region where we looked through a, a part of our galaxy, because remember we live inside a galaxy, so we had to look above or below the galactic disk. If we look in the direction of the galactic disk, too much material would block our view. But if we look straight up or straight down, and we tried to avoid any nearby stars or nebulas, we could actually look outside our galaxy, beyond the galaxy around us, of course, we'd still have to look somewhere where there are not too many close by galaxies, so we could peer past those, as far away into the universe as possible. And then of course, since the galaxies out there are so far away that they're barely visible, we had to leave the lens open for an incredible 240 hours or an entire 10-day exposure. Imagine taking a picture where the lens was kept over, open for 10 straight days and nights. And that's exactly what we did. Of course, with the Hubble Space Telescope, it doesn't matter. There's no days or night in space. You could continually train the telescope at a particular spot for continuous days, which is what we did. And after we looked at that small spot, we realized there were well over 1,000 galaxies on that one picture. And then, of course, if you did it again right next to it, so you took another picture right here, kept the lens open for 10 days and did it again and again and then in this direction and then in that direction and this direction and kept doing that all around us. Of course, that would take an incredible amount of time, but if you could and you add them all up, the estimate was that there had to be at least 100 billion galaxies in the universe. And then, of course, we did it again, but this time with better equipment. We left the lens open for a very long time and we took the picture called the ultra deep field picture and ultimately the extreme deep field picture where the number of galaxies on the single picture it was a bigger, a slightly wider field of view but there were well over 10,000 galaxies on that single picture. Again, when we estimated the total number of galaxies in the universe it had to be about 200 billion galaxies and that is in the visible portion of the universe alone. Now the visible portion of the universe goes out to about 13 and a half billion light years. So how much space is that? Well, the volume of space, the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Since r, the radius is 13 and a half billion light years, when we calculate it, there's about 1 times 10 to the 31 cubic light years in the universe. That's a lot of cubic light years. And of course, that leaves us with about 5 times 10 to 19 cubic light years per galaxy. Not that that means anything, really, those are just big numbers, but there's another way of looking at it. So, let's say we have a cube, and the cube is 1 billion light years on each side. So we have 1 billion light years this way, 1 billion light years this way, and 1 billion light years that way. So the volume of that cube is 1 billion light years cubed. How many of those cubes could you which you have inside the universe. And it turns out there's about 10,300 of those cubes in our visible universe. So if we take the 200 billion galaxies and divide it by 10,300, that means there's about 19 million galaxies in each one of those cubes. And so if we took a look at one of those cubes and you'll see 19 million galaxies in there and then you'd look at another cube and see 19 million galaxies and you look at another cube and 19 million galaxies 
what you find is that there's really no difference in the way each of those cubes look. It's amazing how the galaxies appear to be, at least at that scale, spread out kind of the same way everywhere. You have the same mix of galaxies and the same number of galaxies everywhere we look in space. Everywhere in the universe, it looks like the universe looks what we call isotropic and homogeneous, which means that it looks, it has the same consistency, the same ratio of galaxies in all directions of the type of different type of galaxies, and they have the same density of galaxies everywhere we look. The universe as a whole is really filled with galaxies as far as we can see everywhere at uniform density and uniform consistency. Wow! That's what we're looking at. That is our universe. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look, a little closer look at the different kinds of galaxies that we have, how they are distributed, how many of each that we have, and the differences between them. So stay tuned and we'll have a lot more information for you about galaxies in our universe. Seems like there should be more than 10,000 cubes in the whole entire universe. They're big cubes. Oh. They're a billion. But then you're talking about 360 degrees of fear around everywhere. Well, let me do a quick calculation. Billion by billion by billion by billion. Hmm, 19. Yeah, but those are very big cubes. Yeah, they come about 360 degrees this way. Hmm, a billion light years cubed. So a billion is 1 e to the 9th. Now, if you cube that, you get 1 e to the 27th. So 1, to, yeah, that's right, 1 times 10 to the 31st divided by 1 times 10 to the 27, that's 10 to the 4th, it's 10,000, it's correct. There are 10,300 cubes, 1 billion light years on each side. That's a huge cube. And it contains 19 million galaxies times 10,000. 19 e to the 6 times 10,000 equals, yep, 200 billion. That's correct. Seems odd. That's why I did it. It's kind of a, an odd way of looking at the universe. What's with the light year cube? Oh, well, when you have 13... I understand, I understand that. No, oh, equation, I'm missing that. something. I'm missing a cube up there. I know, but the light year cube is a... Cubic light years. Oh, if you say 1 billion light years cube, that means you have 1 billion light years this way, 1 billion... Oh. So it's like on each side. Talk about volume. Yeah, it means on each side, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got it.